Question 23. The network diagram shows the travel times in minutes along roads connecting a number of different towns. Part A. Draw a minimum spanning tree for this network and determine its length. There are eight edges that need to be connected, which means seven edges need to be chosen, either using Kruskal's algorithm or Prim's algorithm. I've chosen Kruskal's algorithm for this solution. The highlighted edges are the edges that I've chosen from the lowest weight to the highest weight. And the numbers here that are circled refer to the order in which the edges were chosen. So I've chosen this edge here between Minor Town and Wall Town, so that's number one. This edge I've chosen as number two. Number three is here. Number four is here. Number five is here. Number six is here. And number seven is here. Now drawing the minimum spanning tree might look something like that. And the length of the minimum spanning tree is just the sum of the edges that were chosen. And that equals 160 minutes. Part B. How long does it take to travel from Queentown to Underwood using the fastest route? Part B was answered by inspection, and it does not necessarily have anything to do with Part A. It's important to note that the minimum spanning tree does not necessarily give the minimum path or the shortest path between any two vertices. Referring to the original network diagram, we can see that there's many ways to go from Queentown to Underwood. And you need to select the path that is shortest or the one that takes the least amount of time. So we can either go via Kingsville, so Queentown, Kingsville, Underwood, that's 30 uh, plus 65 is 95 minutes. And there are other ways as well to go from Queentown to Underwood. So by inspection, Queentown to Minor Town to Underwood is 65 minutes, so 45 plus 20. And that gives the fastest route. So Queentown, Minor Town, Underwood, 45 plus 20 is equal to 65 minutes.